this is this is Amish Khan Lizzie. in this uh, particular lecture in stream 4 we will be discussing level of forecasting different levels of forecasting and uh, forecasting techniques and in depth we will be uh, understanding the forecasting techniques level of forecasting uh, in this we will discussing two points demand projections may not be 10% correct or accurate more so when the scope of demand forecast is wide different levels of demand forecasting may be attempted by business firms so business from the choice remains with the business firms how they want to move on so there are different levels of uh, forecasting micro level meso level and macro level so in micro level forecasting is restricted to a particular brand or a specific product like a demand for let's say Dolan's microwave or Toyota or Honda or Ford or Audi some of the different car brands then in maximum level the firm attempts to project the demand for a product group like the demand of a for washing machine or a refrigerator or conditioner specific one macro level with the firm attempts to examine the future demand for all automobiles or TV sets rather the demand for a particular brand name or order group so it is known as macro level forecasting for demand so why forecasting techniques so forgotten techniques are used to bring accuracy least possible cost minimum use of other resources choice of techniques urgency and this all depends on the availability of data so um, classification of forecasting techniques we divide it in two techniques one is qualitative techniques and the other is quantitative techniques so one is called quality other is quantity so in qualitative techniques uh, obtaining information about the likes and dislikes of consumer suited for short-term demand forecasting demand for cost for new products can remain only by quantitative techniques the qualitative techniques demand for existing product can be forecasting by using this method whereas in quantitative techniques forecasting proposed future demand for using quantity data the quantitative data from the past and uh, extrapolating it to make forecasting for future levels so this is suited for long-term demand forecasting forecast for new products for which no past data is available cannot be made for quantitative techniques as extrapolation uh, is the not possible demand for existing products can be forecast by using this method as well also technique used which is called expert opinion method and uh, there is the view of experts on the likely the level of demand in the future are sorted so panel consensus if the forecasting is based on the opinion of several experts then it is known as panel consensus like HEC or any other senior body or board of directors they require the uh, special panel for the like construction of a dam or any special project like uh, Atahabad Lake so there was panel consensus the panel discussion was done on that how to mitigate that uh, problem so that minimizes individual deviations and personal biases expert opinion method in the LP's method this method is the opinion of a group of experts to email about the expected level of demand so you need to send that that is you can say from the external um, uh, partners as well who are not present in the country they are the experts in their field and doing job in different universities or in different organizations outside of the country so you, you send an email to them and then get the expert opinion from them the responses received are analyzed by an independent body so this method just takes care of the disadvantages of the panel consensus where some powerful individual could have influenced the consensus yeah, with this we come to the conclusion of this particular lecture and in next lecture we will be discussing the advantages and disadvantages of expert opinion advantages and disadvantages of consumer uh, complete enumeration survey and uh, what else the sales force opinion so the advantages and disadvantages will be discussed in the upcoming lecture assalamu alaikum